the easiest way to graph something like this is going to be to put it into slope intercept form. Well, remember slope intercept form, it looks going to look like y equals mx plus b. So in other words, what we're going to try to do here is get the y in this equation by itself. So I've copied this down to the bottom, and the way I'm going to get y by itself is to get rid of the negative 2x. Now I can get rid of a negative 2x by adding 2x. Negative 2x plus 2x cancels, and I have to add the 2x on the other side. So it's 6 plus 2x, but it's going to be more beneficial for us to think of it as 2x plus 6. So because that cancels, I get 3y equals 2x plus 6. Remember, y-intercept form, the x comes before the constant term. Now, uh, to get the y by itself, finally, I am going to divide everything by 3. Now, be careful here. To get the y alone, we divide by 3, which means we have to divide the other side by 3. But remember, that means we divide everything on the other side by 3. So 2 goes over 3. The good thing there is I can just leave that because I'm expecting that to be a ratio, and that's going to be actually our slope. And for 6, uh, 3 goes into 6 twice. I'm going to do 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So my new equation is going to be y equals 2 over 3 times x plus 6 over 3, which is 2. Now, because it's in slope-intercept form, I know that my y-intercept is actually going to be here. 2 is my y-intercept. In slope-intercept form, that's going to be the constant term. So I can start by graphing that single point, which means I have a point at 0, 1, 2. It crosses the y-axis at 0, 2. Then I know my slope. Again, if I look at my um, y-intercept form, whatever's in this position is going to be the rise over the run. So in this particular case, I'm going to have a rise of 2 and a run of 3. So every time from here, I go up 2. 1, 2, I go over 1, 2, 3. So the next point of my graph will be here. Up 2, over 3. Get another point up 2, over 3. And I can do this as long as I want. Now I'm running out of room here, but it also means that if I were to go down 2, I would go back 3. And you can see that puts me on exactly the same line. So I have the idea now. I have plenty of points, and I can just put a line. So this line, which I've drawn, represents the complete solution set to my original equation. All of my x and y values, which make negative 2x plus 3y equals 6 true, are those represented by the ordered pairs on this graph. We have successfully graphed our linear equation by first putting it into slope-intercept form. Thank you very much.